You're in the mix with Battle and the Gang on American Lunchbox Podcast. Tim. Yes, sir. Shout out. I'm just going to call you sir on? now because I, I don't know I don't know what your name is now. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to, what to refer to you. You, you don't know what to call me. <laughs> call me black. Call me African-American. I know what to, I know what you're trying to just say. Just don't Tim. call me late for dinner. I think is was he changed? Is it Azerbaijan battle or something like that? <laughs> oh, my God. Tim, uh, shout out. Shout you're trying out. to get me. Uh, I, want to, I want to send a shout out to the Pittsburgh Steelers who are 10 and 0 versus the uh, versus the Jets that are um, they're yet to show up. <laughs> Listen to all of the Steeler fans out there. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. My you, wife you is my are, wife is actually a big it. Steelers fan, and uh, she actually uh, broke her laptop while rooting for them a couple weeks ago because she was just sitting there just slamming slamming her her fist on the counter, and she actually broke. I think she broke the monitor on the thing, so she was very excited about it. Shout out to the Steeler fans, and because uh, you got you got you guys are, you guys are tearing the shit up right now. That's good stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I hope I hope and I hope that you carry it all the way to the Super Bowl. I really would love to see the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So shout out. But yeah, it's the first time in franchise history they've been ten and zero. Awesome, man. And they and they got a lot of history. Oh yeah. They have a lot of history up up in Pittsburgh, man. A lot of history. Well, listen, a, a special shout out for me. I typically don't give shout outs, but um, my pops has, has been on my mind. Uh, for uh, this week, and I wanted to uh, shout out to him. Uh, my now, you got to be careful when I talk about my pops. I'm talking about the man who raised me, not the man who who spurned me. Uh, so I'm talking about Clarence Patterson, um, who unfortunately passed away years ago, and he's been on my mind. and And I wanted to give him a special shout out because he would have enjoyed seeing me do this work that I'm doing now. So. Um, I'm getting a little emotional. I apologize, but um, it's okay. Um, but you know, uh, back in '86, you know, I was very sick, and we could talk about that later. But I was very sick, and he was at my side. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to participate in some events that were going on during that year. Shout out to all of the folks who went to Lewis Pasteur Junior High School um, at that time when I was there, and uh, they know about this. But uh, he was very he was there with me, you know, and, um, and, and, and let me just say for the record, he hasn't, we haven't always seen eye to eye, you know, we haven't always been the best of friends, but he was always there for me. And during that time, you know, he, he had, he was a musician, songwriter, musician, jazz musician, great jazz musician, avant-garde, played every instrument, you know, was, you know, a, a part of the best in New York when he was there. And, uh, and, you know, he had the wherewithal during the time when I was most sick to write these words. And I'm going to do my best at the end of each podcast to say this, these words, because right now is when we need them. And then we're going to close out. He said to me in these words, as he wrote them down in an old yearbook that I unfortunately was not able to participate in during my my, that time, he wrote into a yearbook. He said to me, he said, George, comma, he said, don't ever let the times change the lines in your smile. All right, you guys, it's been fun. It's always great. It's always great talking to you, man. Love you guys. I love you guys, man. And uh, we'll see you guys next week on American Lunchbox Podcast. Peace. Stay safe.